on the 16th of June, I was already working for the Christian Institute as the director of the, the Transvaal province at that time. And then I was also the national president of the Young Women Christian Association of South Africa. And I was in a meeting at the YWCA building, which was Danwell House in Bramfontein at that time. And we got a message that the children had been marching to Orlando Stadium to stage their protest there. And the police came and met them and they were shooting left, right and center indiscriminately. And in fact, people in Soweto had been advised to stay indoors because if they were found in the streets, the police would just shoot without any question. So we feared for the women who were working for church bodies in those building, buildings, the Iconia House, the Christian Institute, and the World Council of Churches were there, and in Dunwell also, the Lutheran Federation was there. So we decided to stop our meeting by we saying myself as the national president then and Joyce Soroke, who was the national general secretary of the YWCA. And because we're using the vehicles of our own organizations for our work, we thought we, we would use them to transport these women group by group and put them at their doorsteps so that they are safe. At, at least this was a humanitarian act we could carry out on that day. But with the first lot, when we reached all the police station, we were going to pass there, there was a group of people there, and the women said, don't pass because our children can be here. So we stopped to realize that people were there because they were looking at the police bringing their ammunition with Saracens into Orlando Police Station because they were going to be fighting in Soweto from Orlando Station. And then there was a lady teacher who was telling the crowd that was there how he saw the police shooting students at the back who were running away. And then the special branch members were among this crowd and you couldn't identify them because they come in, in ordinary clothes. So they grabbed this woman and started to hit her with their batons. And when she fell down, they began to drag her with her feet, with her head knocking against the stones on the ground. Then I jumped out and said, this can't happen. And dress followed me and all other men and women followed and were trying to fight with the police to release this woman. So the police overpowered us because they were hitting us with their batons, but we insisted on going until Dress and myself were inside the yard of the police station. They closed the gates before all other women could come in. Now, when we realized that we couldn't take their batons, we decided to walk into the police station and say, well, they have arrested this woman, but can we give you our names and addresses? so that we can be called to be witnesses for this woman the day she goes to court. Because we wanted to go and witness that she really did nothing wrong. She was only telling the people what she saw. So the police took our names and took our statements, okay? But when we got out of the office of the police station, special branch called us back and commanded the police to get us arrested. So when we were sitting there, arrested, we wanted to know what we were arrested for. And they said we were terrorists. And indeed, we were locked up. We never came out of those cells. When we were still waiting there for a long time, other women who were drivers came and asked for the keys from us. And they drove those women home and took our cars back to work. But we were locked up for three days and three nights. Women were packed in one cell. Even people they were arresting in... So if the women were brought into that cell, men were packed in another cell. The cell was so dirty. We could see lice and bugs crawling on the walls. And the toilet was blocked. We couldn't use it unless when you can't really help it. It was blocked. And when we got thirsty and were shouting, banging at the doors, asking the police to give us water. They kept saying, drink from the toilet. At one stage, a young girl came into the toilet, into the, our cell, and she was bleeding all over. And she said, thank you, God. And we said, how can you thank God when you are injured? She said, at least I'm still alive. You people don't know what is happening in the streets here. The police are shooting all over. 
they take the dead corpses into the same Saracen with the people who are very injured and who are less injured than myself. And when they reach the police station here, they pack the corpses one side, they take the seriously injured, make them lie on the ground, and they walk on top of them to finish them up. And at least I'm among those who are brought into the cell. So that's why I'm saying thank you, God. We're so crowded that we could not even turn. If we wanted to turn, we had to negotiate and say, let us turn. And then one night, the second night, we had noise in the men's cell as if they were fighting. And later on, we had a shot, a gunshot, and it was silent. After that, we had these people in the cell saying, which means come and take him out. He is dead. Then we knew that the police must have shot the one who has been fighting with them. On the day they were taking us out, they took me and Dress out at 3 a.m. As we got out of the cell, each one of us had a, shul, a soldier pointing at her with a gun to escort us to the Saracens. We got to the Saracens being pointed with a barrel of the gun. So they took us to a police station where they said we're going to have a case head the next day. Because during that time they had created uh, courts all over the police stations of Sowe too because we were too many. But we were never got into court, even though we were told we were charged with sabotage. Instead they took us to Protea police station the next day for interrogation. As we were driving right through Soweto, we were passing corpses littered all over in the streets. And after interrogation at Protea uh, Pro police station, they couldn't get anything uh, against us, so they released us and we went back to work.